You know, I've been teaching music up at the local school for more years than I care to count. Heck, I've heard a lot of voices. Some heavenly, others, well, bless their hearts, they tried. But none unsettled me quite like Sarah Thompson. That girl had a voice like a bell at first. But over time, that bell started to clang, if you know what I mean. Got so she'd twist herself like a pretzel while she was singing, her body contorting into shapes no child ought to be able to make, screeching rather than singing. She looked at me one day, her eyes cold and yet burning with something I can't name, and said, Miss Williams, the skewbald mare's going to conduct a choir, but we all got to be retuned first. I can't say I understood. Sounded like gibberish or the stuff of nightmares, but she said it with a conviction that made my bones chill. That's when the void will shatter, she whispered. Child's whispers shouldn't carry that much weight, but hers did. Reminds me of all that rubbish spouted by the harmonics cult. Don't get me started. As if Origin ain't got enough problems, they took over the radio, playing Freddie Mercer's tunes around the clock. That's Freddie Mercer, cousin to Alexander, who disappeared like smoke. It makes a woman wonder what's going on in our town. And yet Sarah, she looked like she knew. Not long before she and her family went missing, she gave me this sealed envelope, said it contained a drawing of that day, the day the void shatters. I've kept it locked in that drawer for years. Often my hand hovers over that handle. But something deep inside me screams, Don't, Joyce, don't. Like opening it would make it all real. I've got this dreadful feeling, like worms in my gut, that we're already humming along in this skewbald mare's unholy chorus. And when we hit that terrible crescendo, God help us, I don't want to think about what comes next. <laughs>